Taiwan researchers believe they can enlist the body's natural defenses to create a cure for the coronavirus. They've been investigating antibodies, a protein that the body makes to fight off infection. A team led by a Tanggung Memorial Hospital researcher has identified one antibody that could be developed into a coronavirus treatment. They've also found a dozen other antibodies that can be used to make a rapid diagnostic test for COVID-19. Place a test strip in the tube and a result appears as little as 10 minutes later. Researchers from Sangam Memorial Hospital and other institutes have made a breakthrough discovery that can be used to quickly identify people who have COVID-19. They have found 25 monoclonal antibodies that the human body produces after being infected with the virus. 13 of them react with a protein on the surface of the coronavirus, making it possible to identify COVID-19 in less than half an hour. Because uh, the antibody can recognize the surface protein of the virus particle. So uh, we can use it as a uh, uh, detection reagent, as a diagnostic kit. Around uh, such as the 15 minutes, then we can see the uh, antigen, antibody, interaction so we can detect the virus. Researchers also think some of the antibodies can be used to treat the coronavirus. In the lab, one antibody in particular proved especially good at blocking the virus from infecting cells. When virus enter the cell, it needs to use its surface protein to bind the receptor. So the antibody will interrupt such kind of step, so inhibit virus enter our body for replication. Uh, so uh, because the antibody can uh, inhibit the uh, invasion, so we can use a treatment purpose because if we inject antibody to the patients, then stop virus go further to amplify in another cells. We can do more, uh, such as antiviral drugs, and to test some uh, clinical use the drug to see whether they can be used to treat COVID-19 patients. Researchers say they can make identical copies of these proteins in the lab and use them against the novel coronavirus. The team is working with physicians to test the antibodies with hopes of proving their effectiveness on humans. For most news, Stephanie Yang, Tai Chen Yo in Taipei.